In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an old age makeup using latex so you can go from young to old. I did this half already for a makeup demo for Te Awaha Makeup School and so I figured why not show you how to do it. First step, make sure that you clean your face. You want to remove any oils on your skin so using a toner is great. And now of course we are going to be using latex for this and latex does not come out of your hair. So just to protect your eyebrows and your eyelashes, put on a little bit of Vaseline. Then using a baby wipe you can wipe off the remaining Vaseline from your skin. Then first step of the makeup we're actually going to be putting all of our texture and splatters and colours all underneath the latex. So I'm using an illustrator alcohol palette here but you can also use grease paints or face paint. So first off I'm using a dark brown to just give myself a little bit of a contour and this will help give me a more of a skeletal sunken in gaunt effect. If you realize that some of your contouring is a little bit too intense, you can use some alcohol and just spread it out a little bit or remove some of the alcohol paint. I'm also creating a little bit more of an intense line down the nasolabial fold. That is the line that goes from the corner of the nose down towards the mouth. And then also giving myself some jowls by creating this small triangle shape next to my chin. Remember to not make your lines too perfect and clean. You want these all to be a little bit mottled and blended out. Now I'm creating some lovely bags underneath my eyes just by adding a little depth into the corner of the eye and then also connecting it from the other end. Also adding a little bit of depth into the corner of my eye and this will really help to get that kind of droopy eye look. Then it's up to you what other details that you want to add. Here I'm adding a little bit of redness and some capillaries. Also I'm going to be adding some more stippling onto the forehead as well as some larger liver spots that will show up really nicely through the latex. To create these spots use a small brush and then just use your finger to just kind of smudge them out a little bit. This will make the liver spots look like they're underneath your skin. Now I'm also just adding a little shadow going from the corner of my mouth. Remember, for old age, everything kind of needs to droop down. Now that I'm pretty happy with that, it's time to get out the latex. So when you're doing old age makeups with latex, it's important to stretch the skin until your latex dries. Then we need to powder it off, and then when you let go of the skin, it's going to wrinkle up. So first I'm adding a small layer of latex onto my forehead and stretching the skin upwards. Now with my trusty hair dryer I'm going to dry this off and you'll know that it's fully dry when all of the latex is fully transparent. Now for the forehead I want to add another layer of latex because there's not a lot of loose skin there. So I'm just adding another quick layer. Then I'm going to dry it using my hair dryer and powder it off with some transparent powder. Once the powder is applied you can let go of the skin and your forehead should be nice and wrinkly. Now it's time to do the eyes. The eyes are the most important part and they're actually the most fun because you have so much loose skin on your eyes. So I'm going to lift up my eyebrow 
and as you can see that stretches out the eyelid. Now you want to make sure that you keep your eyes closed. Latex is pretty fumy and so if you have your eyes open you'll get kind of stingy watery eyes. So as always apply some latex and dry it off with a hair dryer. You'll find that one layer is often enough. Powder it off and voila! Now I'm going to continue with different sections of the eye. Watch how I pull the skin into different directions. Once you've done underneath your eye, you may need to pull up some of your little eyelashes. Good thing that we use the Vaseline. So now our eyes are looking pretty good, but we also need to do the cheek. And for this we're going to use a spoon. So just place the spoon on the inside of your mouth and push it out so that you can stretch the skin on your cheek. Then of course, Apply your latex, dry it off, and powder it. Then we want to bring some of the wrinkles a little bit closer to the lip. So again, we can use our spoon, but then this time just put it around your lips and make sure that you kind of clench your lips around the spoon so that it's nice and tight. Another quick tip as well, if you've used a little bit too much powder, you can just set the latex and then use a baby wipe just to wipe off any excess powder. This will remove any whiteness from the latex. Now I'm also going to add a little extra latex onto my nose and this will help get some cool frown lines. So now I kind of put a little bit too much latex on my nose and as I removed my finger the latex ripped a tiny bit. And then so it kind of created almost like a little blister shape. But don't worry, that's kind of a good thing. Now I'm going in with some dark brown eyeshadow and I'm just going to hollow out my eyes a little bit more and accentuate some of my wrinkles. Now for this little popped blister that's on my nose I'm going to use a little bit of a red powder and I'm just going to fill that in. Then I'm going to cover it with a tiny bit of Vaseline and then that will give it like a small popped blistery effect. Then also with the Vaseline I'm going to add a little bit of shine around my eyes and onto the eyelids. Time for the finishing touches, so I've just added in a slightly paler contact lens and I'm just adding a little bit of white face paint using a spoolie 
into my hair and onto my eyebrows. And then that is my finished old person look. Now, of course, you can also do the neck and you can add more layers of latex to make this even more intense. All of these products are available from Body Effects, which is www.bodyeffectshop.com. I hope that you guys give this a go at home and show us your creations. We always love to see it. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.